What's up everyone and welcome back to Mario Maker. It's been a while since the last time I was playing this game, but I believe we were taking on the normal 100 Mario challenge and I might have completed it. I actually don't remember. Oh god. No, what 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 what, what the friggin' oh, no. We did it. The logical next thing to do would be to take on the expert mode, but as you can see, I kind of gave it a try and was not having the best time. I'm down to 17 lives and only made it about halfway through, but thankfully Nintendo saved me because if you see the little toad over here on the kind of title screen, you'll notice that he's has some event courses for us. And actually just yesterday, a new course came out and you might notice it there at the top. It's I Choose You. This course is based on the beginning of any Pokemon trainer's journey. So finally, we're going to take a look at Pokemon in Mario Maker. I know since the first one I posted, which was so long ago, a lot of people told me, why didn't you check out any Pokemon levels? Because it kind of made sense, right? So let's check out I Choose You, the event course, and then we'll move on to some other stuff. So if you guys are excited for some more Mario Maker, make sure to leave a like. I actually think a lot of people enjoyed when I did the first part of this and watching me fail at the game. So I figured I would bring it back and actually turn this into more of a, I guess, weekly series. So if you want to see more Mario Maker, definitely let me know. But today we're going to be playing this first of all. So from choosing your first partner in Professor Oak's lab through reaching the first gym, clear the course to unlock a costume of whichever Pokemon you chose. Unlike the original games, it shouldn't be hard to clear it multiple times and catch them all. Okay, so let's just play it and find out exactly what's going on. I also just noticed there's a download button, but I think that's if you want to e edit the level yourself, which... I haven't actually tried building my own levels yet. I might give that a try like on stream sometime. So let me know if you're interested in that as well. But as for Mario Maker, man, I really like this game. I've actually been playing a lot of it uh, over on my new channel, The Lost Boys. So if you want to check that out, it'll also be in the description. But right now we're starting off in Pallet Town and this must be our house right here, right? Because it said this is like a Pokemon journey. So I assume we're either walking into Professor Oak's lab right now. And uh, okay, I guess we were right. So now we get to choose our starter Pokemon. Do we want... Uh, let me see if I can even remember. Left to right, it should be Bulbasaur. It's in Pokedex order, right? So Bulbasaur, Charmander, and then Squirtle. So I guess we'll go for Charmander first. And by I guess I mean we will definitely go for that. Because it's my favorite starter by far. And yes! Wait, was I right? Oh my gosh, I was wrong! It's... Squirtle. Man, maybe I'm just I'm just not as smart as I think I am. At Pokemon, at least, because I'm definitely at least smarter than a fifth grader. If I could compete on that show, man. Anyway, here's our starter Pokemon. It is Squirtle! Oh my gosh, they actually have the cries! See, the original Mario Maker Pokemon costumes didn't actually have the cries. It was just, uh, they would jump around and it would be the still the default Mario sounds. But I guess now, we at least have this, which is really cute. So, alright, let's smash this block and get outside. It's a little bit weird, too, because you're playing as the Pokemon instead of as the trainer controlling the Pokemon. But, whoa, okay. There are a lot of enemy Pokemon trying to kill me right now. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was kind of scared that that Piranha Plant would actually reach us. Um... Which way are we going here? I guess down here. I'm gonna follow the coins. Whoa! That was a little bit dangerous. We made it through. And of course, Torpedo Ted. Why wouldn't they have Torpedo Ted? Oh my god, no! Squirtle! He's dead! <laughs> that sucks. Oh my gosh, why did I fall? Okay. At least I get another Squirtle suit if I make it up here, that is. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, Torpedo Ted, you need to blow up, bro, because I don't want to deal with you anymore. And okay. Don't have to deal with him, at least. We got Squirtle though. Here's another Pokeball. I actually have no idea what could be in this one or how to reach it because it looks kind of hard to get into those clouds. Let me see if I can kind of, whoa, no! At least the jingle was good. <laughs> but I don't know what happened there, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna say my Butterfingers. Anyway, that does give us a chance to get another Pokemon. So let's go for Bulbasaur this time. Is it really not Bulbasaur? Are you? Okay, Charmander does not go first. He's he's not number 001, so I think I might have been right, and they just did it in their own order. Um, but hey, we can actually break some of Charmander's blocks, which is kind of cool. Either way, we're here to see the transformation, so let's go! We are now Charmander! My favorite starter Pokemon! That's so cute. Oh man, I love it. Alright, I want to see if the level is actually different or not, because I think that the level might be. Like, it might be fire-based this time, since we picked Charmander. 
And it is actually cool. So there's three different levels for each starter that you pick. There's Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, of course. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't include a, a Pikachu at some point. Like, I know that the Pikachu um, character has been available for a while since the Amiibo is out. But then again, I never played as it, so I could definitely do that at some point. I first got to focus on actually beating this because you see what happens when I don't- You see what happens when I don't focus! I die instantly! Jeez, man. Alright, I guess now we get to try out the last starter Pokemon, which is technically should have been the first. He is the first Pokemon, like, on the Pokedex. Unless you count Victini, because apparently he's 0, 0, 0, but that is, of course, Bulbasaur! I love these guys, man. Honestly, I... Every time a Pokemon journey starts, I used to always pick Charmander or Squirtle, but Bulbasaur has definitely grown on me ever since uh, doing playthroughs and stuff, because I started using it a lot more. Caesar, the uh, Bulbasaur, and here he is! It's Caesar himself! <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. The other ones could have been Fuego and uh, let's see what I've used a couple of Squirtles But I think the most the most memorable one is definitely the one I named Jizz I don't know why I did but you know what it was a different time I named my Pokemon very weird like this actually looks kind of weird <laughs> The way he climbs up and down the vine is a little bit weird But I like that there are vines because he is the grass type Pokemon so down the vine we go and oh my gosh that piranha plant is just ready to eat us, man. The Carnivines! <laughs> what is- is there another Venus Flytrap Pokemon? Because I feel like there's more than one of them, but- Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Carnivine might be the only one. If there is another one, I just can't think of it right now, but you guys can uh, help me out. Refresh my memory, because I feel like there was, but maybe I'm imagining this. Anyway, there are two of these now, so I don't know how they intend for us to get through this without- Oh! I guess like that, huh? That was not too difficult. And here's another one. Oh gosh, no! How could I lose it? I'm not even Bulbasaur anymore. I don't deserve to play this, honestly. If I'm not the Pokemon, I don't even deserve it. All right, there's no messing around this time. Now we know what all three levels have to offer, so hopefully we should be able to beat him, right? I was just playing around at first, or was I? I actually don't know, but I feel like if we don't beat the level as the Pokemon, then we don't really deserve to beat the level. So let's see if I can do this without actually losing any lives. I'm not like the best Mario player out there, obviously, but I feel like I could at least beat this, right? If I got pretty far into the expert challenge, then I can definitely do this. Oh gosh, okay. You know, wait for this little guy to come down and I mean, I already know how to do this part at least, so shouldn't be too hard. I just messed up right here because there's a vine that comes out and I think we have to wait a second. Yep. No, what the heck? Dude, I didn't even touch. What? How am I even touch? Okay, maybe I did touch it. Third time's the charm, right boys? Maybe, I don't know. I actually messed this up pretty bad, so I want to give this another try, but I think we need to jump sooner than I did. Or later? Oh, uh, maybe just like that. Okay. So is there like an- Oh my goodness, what is this guy? This- uh, I feel like that's just another Bulbasaur suit, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore it, but- Ooh, what the- Huh. <laughs> that was tricky for a second. Is that the end of the level, though? Huh. Never mind. I forgot. There's actually a second half. And I think this half might actually be the same regardless of what character you play. Why was I even trying to get into that Pokeball if there's only a music note? What is wrong with me? Was this really the end of the level? So when we were playing the first one, I... The Squirtle one, I had pretty much beat it. It's just... For some reason I decided curiosity was more important than winning, so... I ended up walking into the middle. Anyway, there's another pipe, so... Oh, wait, never mind. I'm still not out. Okay, now we're out. What is that over there? I don't even want to know, but... I think that should be it, so... Bulbasaur! You did it, buddy! You're the first Pokemon to make it through. What? The heck? How do we make it through... What? Hold on. Is there actually a way to reach up the flagpole, or am I just like... Oh, never mind. I guess you can just jump up on the roof of the house. Didn't even get the 10,000, or the 1-up, or whatever. But we got the Pokemon Jingle. And this is- oh, this makes- this feels so good. In case you didn't know, um, I- this whole thing is happening because it's actually Pokemon's 20th anniversary right now. And yes, we're gonna play again, are you serious? <gasps> Yay! We unlocked the Bulbasaur Mystery Mushroom! 
But if you didn't know, uh, Pokemon's 20th anniversary is actually this year, and so they've been doing a lot of really cool random little events and things in other games even, um, like this one here, and well, we've seen already things like Detective Pikachu, and Pick Pokemon Picross, and Pokemon Go, like there's a, this is a big year for Pokemon, I'm really excited, and this is just the beginning, so I can't wait for whatever else they might have in store for us for hashtag Pokemon 20, I think that's what they were doing, Hash, hashtag Pokemon 20, they had like a whole big Super Bowl commercial too, which was really crazy. I don't know if you guys saw that. I personally don't really watch the Super Bowl or care much for football. I know a lot of people are going to hate on me for that, but I just, I, I mean, I didn't grow up with it, so I've never really been into it. And I feel like you can't really blame me if I didn't grow up with it, but anyway, we're going to chill here for a second because that little guy there is actually going to kill all three piranha plants for us, which is totally what I should have done the first time I played through this level. And whoa, we even get another Charmander suit. Nice. Wait, did I not get this far the last time? I guess I didn't, huh? But now I'm wondering if there's- OH NO! I messed up! Ah, uh, You know what? But then again, I feel like Fuego is destined to be the last one I beat this game with, or this level. As in Charmander has to be the last one. It's only right for Charmander to be last. I don't know why, but it is. Anyway, let's see if we can beat it with uh, Squirtle then. And since I guess there's not really, I mean, no one likes water levels in Mario, first of all, but either way, if we did have a water level, I don't think, I think actually the ice is, is a little bit more fun, so. I like uh, Squirtle's level and that it's not a water level, thank goodness. Anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this one, because it looks like the second half is always the same, and oh my gosh, no! I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. All right, this is actually a little bit trickier than I thought, because I kind of just ran through it as Bulbasaur, so. Didn't pay much attention to it. I'm still actually curious what the heck this area over here is, but maybe it's just to fill up space in the level. Anyway, uh, that's two down and one more to go, but this time I'm going to go for that golden flagpole, even though they didn't really have the golden flagpole back in the day. You got the one up and the jingle, which is the best part. I hope you never have to see me do that again, but we got Squirtle from Pokemon Red version, Blue version, Yellow version. Oh my gosh, how did I forget that they're re-releasing those? No wonder they're doing this, but yeah, those are coming out really soon too on the eShop, I think. So, pretty excited for that as well. Uh, now we just have Charmander left to finish, and at this point I've played through Charmander's level a couple of times, but Charmander is just too dang cute, man. I can't resist playing as him again, so we're gonna do the whole thing one more time, since I guess this is the last one as well. Uh, but I know that there's definitely a lot more uh, Pokemon levels out there, I just, it's kind of hard to search for levels in Mario Maker. I really wish there was literally a search bar, but you gotta put in the code, and I feel like it's not super great, but I don't know man, it's Nintendo, they've never been great with online, so I don't... I don't know really what to think about it, but if you guys have any Pokemon themed levels that you know of and would like me to play, definitely let me know, because I know a lot of people make their own levels and they want me to play them. And actually a couple of people did leave me their levels in the last episode. In the future, we can definitely play some of those levels. I know there's a lot of Mario Maker levels, so it will be pretty interesting, but man, I guess once you've played one level enough times, you kind of just breeze through it, don't you? So let's breeze through the rest of this as Charmander and unlock our last costume. Actually, uh, all of the amiibo are also costumes, so if you happen to have any of the Pokemon amiibo or actually any amiibo at all, you can put them in there and I'm pretty sure it unlocks the costumes as well. So I'm down to try some more levels with Pokemon characters. If you guys know them, um, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I guess I'll just be playing um, couple of more levels in here. I'm sure some people have probably created levels with uh, these Pokemon by now. The three new ones, the three Musketeers. Man, it is so awesome. All right, I guess we get a little flag for clearing it. I've realized though that they have a lot of other uh, event courses here that I think I tried out last time, the Earthbound one, and that's why we have some of those. But man, they make a lot of these. So why don't we try Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? I played that game, so why the heck not? Clear rate's only 32%. Do that many people really not beat these levels? I feel like they're not that challenging, but... Whoa! Oh, we're literally Captain Toad. This is so cool. All right. I haven't played much of the Captain Toad game, but hey, since I was talking about Lost Boys at the beginning, we've actually been playing uh, Super Mario 3D World on there, too. Oh, God, Mo, don't jump, don't jump. Oh, my God. Whoa! 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 I made it! That has Captain Toad in it. <laughs> oh, wow. I like the little jumping sounds he makes. See? Like, the Pokemon, uh, the original ones, didn't actually make any custom sounds, so it was really cool to see that with Charmander 
Uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Whoa. Okay, Captain Toad. You gotta chill with those, uh, screams, bro. I liked it the first time, but I feel like you're getting a little bit too hyped now. What the heck? Oh, the star so we can kill this guy and stand on spikes, apparently. Okay, we're invincible. Whoa. All right, Captain Toad. Two doors. Left or right? Uh, left. <laughs> I actually have no idea. I've never played this level, like I said. So... I guess we'll figure this out as we go. So another P-Switch though. Is that really a thing in Captain Toad or are they just, is that just the way this level works? I'm not sure what the heck, okay. This is some really cool level design, man. Like you don't see this often, but when you do, I really appreciate like the levels that kind of go a little bit outside of the box. Then again, this one is made by um, Nintendo, I think. But still, the people that make their own custom levels do a really good job. That is Captain Toad's though. Actually, pretty cool. We were nowhere near that world record. I ain't even getting close, boy. But hey, that unlocks another costume for us, so we might as well keep unlocking them, right? These apparently all unlock costumes for you. So that was Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. What else is even in here? NES Remix, NES Remix Excite Bike, Southwest Air Adventure. What even are these games? Well, at least Paranormal Research sounds pretty cool, so I guess we'll try this one out. <gasps> Professor Egad! What? I love this guy! I wonder if we actually get to play as him. I mean, the portrait was there, so obviously we will. And here he is. So we got Apu and Uyama. I don't know what either of those mean, but sure. We're on a paranormal research right now. Or we're doing some paranormal research, so. A lot of booze coming around. I mean, if you don't know Professor Egad, I, I, what game is he originally from? I don't know if Luigi's Mansion or uh, Superstar Saga, but I know he's in those games, so... Or is he in Superstar Saga? I think he's in one of, like, Partners in Time, not that one. Either way, I'm pretty sure the first game he was in was Luigi's Mansion, so I guess he's from that. So there's definitely a lot of booze and ghostly stuff going on. Actually, that makes sense now, <laughs> that they have the booze and everything around, because it was Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I totally forgot they even made a Luigi's Mansion 2. So crazy. Because I didn't really get to play it that much. I feel like they've been making a lot of sequels lately, but I don't really get to play them that often. I guess because there's so many games that come out. There's no way you can play, like, every game that comes out. Unless you, like, somehow don't have a job or don't really do anything. You can't really beat or keep up with all the games that come out nowadays. It's kind of crazy. Like, I really wish I could play more games, but man, there's just so many games coming out nowadays. Anyway, Mario Maker is definitely one that I've been able to enjoy a lot. So, let's keep doing that by beating this level. But right now, there's an invisible? Does this turn into a door or something? All right. Doesn't matter that we lost it because, whoa. I guess it does matter. I thought there would be another Professor Egad right there, but oh my gosh. They've dropped the T-Switch for us. Okay, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. I messed up. No, please tell me you give me another P-Switch. Oh, okay, thank goodness. So that thing's there because they're going to give you more. Um, so I'm just going to distract that boo over here. And you've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. No, I can't. I can't get in there. I forgot. Are you kidding me? I got to say, I thought this Professor Egad level would be a little bit easier. Not going to lie. I've died a couple times. Thankfully, that wasn't one of them. And oh, this is definitely one of them. Right now. Uh, no! I dropped my gamepad. Professor Egad, I'm done with you. You are a sadistic son of a... Uh, I can't beat that level. I have to beat this level now, dude. I failed too many times to give up on it. I feel like that's why I like Mario Maker so much. I don't know why I'm the kind of person that... If I can't get something done, I'm gonna keep trying till we do. No! <gasps> I made it! Okay, thank goodness. I actually still have my EGAD costume, so that means that we can kind of be cheap about it and use this P-Switch to- Yes! Now I can just- Well, there we go! That's what I meant! I can't even say it, but whatever, because now we're Big Mario, and I don't even know why they would- Oh my goodness, please don't tell me. Was that actually, like, only half the level? Oh no, oh no, oh! Why am I Big Mario? I just... Can I be Egad again? Ah! I want to be Egad again. Ah! Okay. Ah, too many ghosts to jump over. Too little time. Oh, boy. How did I do that? All right. 
Please tell me this level's almost over. Oh, jeez Louise, man. Okay. What are we waiting for here? I just wish I was Egad, man. He was cool. Oh, oh. Uh. Keep going up. I guess we're climbing Luigi's- Oh! Ooh, ooh. Almost died there. But I didn't. That's all that matters. Hey! We're Egad again. Nice. How long is this level? I guess we did reach a checkpoint finally, though, so that's good. So now we don't have to worry about doing that entire first segment again. Jeez, I died way too many times there. I actually... Don't think I've ever even seen these Mario enemies. Oh! This is the second half. This is the thing I was talking about that I saw on the Nintendo YouTube channel. It's actually... I'm pretty sure if we go fast enough, we can... Oh! Never mind. <laughs> I thought that this was gonna be so we can hit that flagpole. Oh, it was! Well, we did it! I didn't quite get the flagpole, but you know what? After failing that many times, I think I'm gonna call it a night for Mario Maker. That was pretty fun, though. Uh, except for that level. <laughs> anyway, we got the EGAD, which is actually really cool. I wanted him. Anyway, that's gonna be it for Mario Maker today. I don't know if I can handle another level, honestly, after that last one. And that was just an event course, keep in mind. There is still the expert challenge to go through which you can see i was struggling on so let me know what you want to see next out of this game whether you want to see user levels expert challenge this game is amazing with how many levels people have created and not just how many levels but like the types of levels because there's so many different variations i feel like there's those don't move levels there's like event levels there's really difficult kind of puzzle levels so whatever you want to see next let me know and i will see you all in the next one